Green bananas, green fig, or green gold, as called locally in St. Lucia. The breadbasket of agriculture on the Caribbean island, it is the main export to the UK, Antigua, and Barbados to be consumed as ripe bananas. Despite the nutritional value and economic benefit, the banana industry is at an all-time low. Severe weather conditions, pests and disease make the banana industry vulnerable to extinction. Robert Henry, a banana farmer from St. Lucia, tells us that he has had to start over after losing his entire farm, not once, but on many occasions. My name is Robert Henry. I'm a farmer. I've been a farmer from the time I left. I plant banana. Let's see every concern agriculture. Each time you see a hurricane, I'm always getting blues here. I think in my area where, where I am, it's, that's the main where, where, where the storm does pass. Well, the little assistance we get in a hurricane, I, I don't satisfy it at all. It's not enough. Green fig is a staple in almost every household. When the green gold industry was at its best, the superfood was cheap and easily accessible to the poorest of the nation. Now, purchasing a hand of bananas is almost a luxury, which is not sustainable to those who benefited the most from it, the underprivileged. Up to now, the amount of banana I had, I can even sell for marketing money. Just oh, last year, last month, I sold a little bit, and then I know how.
As CARICOM states, agriculture is a major economic sector in the Caribbean. In CARICOM, it continues to generate significant income, facilitate food supply and food and nutrition. It contributes to physical and infrastructural development while reducing poverty and hunger. Before the thing was nice, so we can, I can even, I even send all my children to secondary school and farming. So farming was great before, but now. Although many banana plantations still stand today, a number of farmers echo that the industry is in critical need of innovative methods to revive it. 20 years ago, this banana export facility was booming with business. Today, banana farmers are trickling in to begin the export process. Ongoing efforts by the government and other organizations to preserve the volatile industry seem to make little headway. But this does not deter Farmer Henry, who believes that the banana industry will once again be the driving force of the economy.